feeling, man, after that victory? I'm feeling good. Feeling good? Fun. You pumped up? Once again. That was insane, I actually insane, wanted to man. play WMD. The whole time? Well, no. No, I, I wanted to just play it to play it. Oh, I see. But I don't think we can play it into that. Probably. I mean, maybe if we were better at it, we could do I think we were doing decently well. But I think if we were better at it, we could probably play it. But... I feel you, man. Well, I mean, uh, you guys did play very, very well. So you're going to the finals. So that being said, looking at the teams that are left, we have Season 8, Scouts Honor, and Fort Mika. Out of those three teams, who do you want to play the least? Who are you afraid of, man? Mm, wait, which teams are left? There's only two. Scouts Honor, Season 8, and Fort Mika. Oh, I don't want to fight Naja's team. No? You're scared of Naj's team? That that one out of all of them is the one that I don't want to fight. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, but Naj's team Season 8 is going to have to go through quite a few teams if they want to get to you, man. They have to face Scouts Honor right here in a best of three series. And then they have to fight for Mika in a best of three series. And uh, this is just the best of three because it is the losers' uh, semifinals. And then in the finals, it's a best of seven series between you and whomever can get through. So here we go, guys. We're gonna jump into this next season. Y'all ready for this? And I'm excited. Both teams have said that they are ready, man. Here we go, man. Oh, baby. Of course, the very first map of this best of three series is gonna be on the one and only the Grand Arena. Welcome everybody to the Grand Arena. It is Scouts Honor versus Season 8 in this best of three series in the losers brackets. That being said, whoever wins this series is going to be able to continue and whoever loses this series is going to be eliminated from tournament number 14. Some exciting oh games in store for us, man. Oh. So, seeing these compositions, man, any predictions? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't that. either. Didn't we see this yeah. before? RMP? I don't think we saw RMP. Yeah, we saw them run down Fusion. Oh, I'm pretty sure we saw them run down Fusion. Interesting. They, they ran down some Paladin. I think it was Fusion. I, it was Fusion when he was playing uh, Windwalker DK last week. Or he was playing TSG, sorry. I don't think it's going to be as easy for them with the Feral on a Mage peeling. But uh, yeah, it was definitely uh, TSG last week that that happened. Uh, but it looks like they're going to immediately start on a Beanstar. The Deep Freeze Sheep immediately on the Fusion. He did pre-freedom that, so it's going to be a little shorter. But Beanstar taking a lot of damage. The full blind on the Sam I am. He trinkets that immediately. Um, actually, Heart of the Wild is coming out from Beanstar as well as that Survival Instinct as Fusion still is CC'd up. But Beanstar not out of the woods yet. A 30% HP Fusion finally getting out of CC. Able to get a huge heal on a Beanstar. This RMP still all at 100% HP. The Hodge going out on the Nodge. Deep Freeze on to Gex. Can he get the CC? Sam I am getting spammed sheep by Icicle. Icicle doing an excellent job denying Sam I am sheep. But Gex going to get cloned up. And now Icicle down to 20% HP. 6% HP. Almost dies without blocking. What is going on? Gets the Ice Block off though. Nodge using that Cloak of Shadow. He doesn't want to get peeled up. They want to go aggressive. On to Beanslayer. The Smoke Bomb coming out. On to him. He's going to go Bear Form Trinket and get out of that right away and survive. Yeah, the Heart of the Wild's really good for Beanslayer when he goes in bear form. It makes him really tanky, but now he's in a 3v1. 50% HP remaining. Survival Instinct's getting used here with the Avenging Wrath. They finally punched through the last cooldowns that Beanslayer has. The next setup could be deadly. In the meantime, though, Gex getting CC'd into the full polymorph. Uh, I believe he did Shadow or Death, or now it's called Holy Fire, and Beanslayer now on the back foot as a result. Uh, sacrifice out from Fusion. He fake cast the deadly throw interrupt out from Nosh, so he's spamming the heals onto Beanslayer, keeping him topped with those remaining seconds, but Icicle and Nodge are going to be looking up for that last setup. Fusion's going to have to react quickly to it. The full fear lands out from Gex, and the purges are coming in fast on the Beanslayer. He's completely stripped of boss, so he's going offensive. He pops the Incarn. Pain Suppression answered immediately on the Icicle from Gex in that deep freeze. The gouge to deny the Polymorph. The kidney on the Beanslayer. Huge Fusion leaving CC into a Frost Jaw. However, Beanslayer dipping lower and lower. Defensive Polymorph's coming out from Sam I Am, desperately trying to keep his little kitty Meow Meow alive, and he's done it. He's going to survive that setup.
Yeah, Beanslayer's offensive cooldown's fading, though, and they weren't really able to make anything happen. He's still in trouble, having to play a little bit defensive, I think. They're trying to turn around onto Icicle, but Beanslayer caught into that kidney shot right now. Fusion getting out of CC, able to get the bop on it. Beanslayer gets immediately removed, as well as Sacrifice. Both those getting dispelled right away by Gex and Icicle. Icicle taking a little bit of damage, though. Fusion's still not out of CC yet. The deep freeze going to fade. He did freedom that. But Beanslayer um, not getting topped off. The sounds onto him to deny those Cyclones. He's just sitting in bear now. Fusion having to bubble that full sheet. And will Beanslayer dive through the bubble? The MD coming out into a DR sheep. Kidney shot on the Beanslayer. This could be the game. Gex into the full deep sheep, though. They're trying to turn it around on the Icicle. Get some pressure onto him. But Beanslayer is just so low. Uh, he's still going aggressive, <laughs> though. <laughs> I think this is going to be the end. Icicle taking a little bit of damage, but ultimately Beanslayer going down. And uh, I don't know if he played a little bit more defensive, if he could have survived. I'm not sure. I don't know. It seems like the offensive pressure was in favor of Season 8 from start to finish, man. I feel like even with Incarnation, uh, this FMP could not get the ball rolling on them. But a great job coming out from this RMP, really uh, trying to prevent the setup. Uh, Sam uh, getting gouged and whatnot from Naj and Icicle doing a good job staying with this priest, trying to prevent um, Gex from going into that CC. And it really showed. I mean, the pressure was always in favor of Season 8 from start to finish. This yeah. FMP is going to have... Uh, yeah. Shadow melding, like to avoid clone, and then and uh, it's not called Shadow or Death now. They replaced it's, it with yeah, the Holy Fire. Holy Fire, holy so fire yep. It's the same thing though. If he Holy Fires when he's about to get CC'd, the damage gets reflected onto him, and he'll break the CC. And he did that a couple times. I think he got two off the whole game. So making sure that he's not CC'd keeps his team offensive because that could have been scary for Icicle if he wasn't able to keep Naj and Icicle topped off. Absolutely. The next map actually chosen by this uh, by Scout's Honor is gonna be uh, Tiger Speak. So we'll jump right into that game, guys, and we'll see you in just one hot minute. Be right back. Alright, welcome to Tiger's Peak, everybody. This map is going to determine whether or not Season 8... Well, maybe not this map, because uh, Scout's Honor does have the ability to win here, right? Uh, this is a best-of-three yeah. series, so Season 8, as convincing as that game went, I still feel like Scout's Honor is still in it. I still think that they could pull out a 2-0 victory against this RMP, but that was a very, very convincing first game, I must say, from Season 8. Yeah, I think they're going to need... I mean, Samwam didn't really get too much CC on the Gex that game. Um, he needs to do a better job getting Icicle on the CC before he pushes in for that Deep Sheep on the Gex. Um, so Icicle can't just run back and spam Polymorph, which makes it really hard for Samwam to actually get any CC. And obviously Beanslayer not going to be getting out a lot of clones with Naj, Gouge, Kicking, Deadly Throwing, Kidneying, every single thing he does. Uh, but immediately uh, Naj pushing in, sapping Samwam. Looks like they want to open onto him right away, the cheap shot. Um, on the Sam I am, but I think they'll end up switching to Beanslayer. Beanslayer actually pounced cloning Naj in the beginning of that game. Fusion actually caught into the full fear, but Beanslayer, the one that's kidneyed right away, they're all going aggressive. Icicle has his icy veins up. Oh. Sam I am doing everything he can to play defensively uh, at the moment, spamming out those polymorphs on Icicle to, to prevent a little bit of its incoming damage. Beanslayer actually using his survival instincts there. Fusion able to save his trinket. Beanslayer still has one survival instincts up as well as um, his trinket ready to go as well, um, but he still is on the back foot. Fusion actually using uh, his wings and a sacrifice on the Beanslayer denying that incoming poly from Icicle and he's going to be able to get some cast off on the Beanslayer and hopefully top him off. Yeah, Beanslayer has to deal with so many interrupts and then Gex mass dispelling the Cyclones as well getting the offensive pressure rolling on the Beanslayer he has to trink it to get out of the smoke bomb he's in bear form to tank out the killing spree damage is it going to be enough? Fusion has to bubble as well spamming out the heals Gex looking for a mass dispel he's going to land the mass dispel into a deep freeze semi am blocks the blind Beanslayer dipping lower and lower at 30% he's popping the incarn with a poly on the Gex but he deathed the poly into a deep freeze now gets the pain suppression onto Icicle here he's trying to get the pressure turning around as Beanslayer still has that incarn up uh, he's going to 
the clone Naj. He's going to trigger that immediately. Put him into a full kidney shot. Fusion not CC'd though. Bops him out of the kidney shot. Keeping him offensive. He locks the polymorph out. Comet Storm coming in. Binks are trying to get a Cyclone off. He does get kicked on it by Naj. Gex though out of mana. Doing all of these master spells over and over. Is tapping his mana bar very quickly. Binks are at 70%. Fusion in a full poly. Into another poly. Frost Jaw onto Sam I am. Gex is set up. He gets the full fear. Onto Fusion. No way out. Full kidney onto Bean. No way out. They just need the damage right here and right now. Deep Freeze on the Fusion. Bean Slayer dipping lower and lower. Trying to prevent the CC here. Shadow Melding going into stealth. Poly on the Sam I am. Fusion spamming the heals. Topping off Bean Slayer. But that adrenaline rush is cooking. Yeah, they actually Gex into a DR Hodge now. But Fusion into the, the full um, Frost Jaw. Full Polymorph. Bean Slayer in a lot of trouble now in bear form. The red buff killing spree coming out from Naj. That is his adrenaline rush as well. So a lot of damage coming out from this RMP on the Beanslayer. And this could just be the game. Stab of the light proccing on him. Fusion into that fear at the moment. Full kitty shot on the Beanslayer. But Fusion gets out of the CC. Uses that Avenging Wrath. Gets some healing out. But into the deep freeze. Uh, Frasha once again. Sam I am polyed up. And Beanslayer is going to go down. And Season 8 going to take this 2 0. Season 8 is on a rampage, man. Taking that series 2-0 very, very convincingly. Let's take a quick look at that replay here. That red buff killing spree going out onto Bean Slayer uh, as Fusion is put into that po full polymorph. And uh, regardless of uh, that bear form, they're going to chew right through the defensive cooldowns and uh, the health bar of Bean Slayer. And there it is. Season 8 is going to continue down the reign of terror. And up next, we are going to be seeing... A very, very good game. Um, but I do want to take a quick moment to shout out my good buddies, Scouts Honor, Fusion, 